Cover crops really are one of the premier ecological strategies that we can bring into agriculture to make it more sustainable, improve the soil and build our productivity. With the amount of species that are out there and the way we can manage these cover crops and the, the diversity of cropping systems represents a really challenging researchable question. This is a long-term agricultural research site. We have about 20 of these across the country. As we collect a lot of this data at this research station, that helps us say a lot about what's going on at this place and this time. But farmers really want to know what's going on in their fields, right? So we've developed a national on-farm network where we're monitoring the effects of cover crops on a whole host of criteria like insects, weeds, disease, water, nitrogen. And all of that information that we collect across the country allows us to link up how climate and soil and management interact to affect both the cover crop performance as well as the cash crop. And we're taking all of this information and we're building web-based decision support tools that provide site-specific recommendations to growers. So these are species selection tools. There are seeding rate calculators. If you're using a mixture, if you're just planting a monoculture. We have economic calculators, water and nitrogen calculators, all built around recommendation systems for growers using cover crops. What we're also now doing is we're developing the National Cover Crop Breeding Program. We're working on improving genetics to release cultivars, focusing on the management, as well as you know, quantifying the benefits. But there's just not one size fits all model, right? Cover crops are biological tools. We're not looking for a prescription that serves everybody the same benefit, but that what we get out of cover crops really depends on our own systems and what our objectives are with our farming practices. Thank you.